Hi, I'm Dick Bergman. I was in the class of 1965 at Southern Connecticut State College, and I'm the spark plug behind the Northeast Motorsports Museum in Loudoun, New Hampshire. This museum came into being because many of us who cared about auto racing and motorcycle racing in New England were concerned that our history was disappearing. Uh, this museum uh, operates with no full-time person being paid here to run it. We, we all do this because we just love motorsports, we love automobile racing and motorcycle racing, and, and we want to see the history saved. You've had a life devoted to motorsports. How did that begin for you? began at age eight. Uh, my father took me to Stafford Springs Speedway in Connecticut and I just fell in love with the place. I fell in love with the cars, with the drivers, one in particular, a fellow named Art Russo, and I just decided that day I wanted to be just like him. But that enthusiasm that he inspired in me that day changed my life completely. It made me want to go to school, uh, to, to be able basically to make enough money to afford a race car. And so I went to Southern, I uh, went on to uh, graduate school at Tufts University, and. Uh, still involved in motorsports. Tell me a little about your path to uh, Southern and to, into higher education, because you weren't, in your own words, the best of students? No, I was the worst of students. I was the absolute worst. Uh, I went to Manchester High School, but actually I was spending virtually all of my time involved in, in auto racing. And uh, so I didn't do homework and I was reading Speedway News instead of the books I was supposed to be reading when I was in high school. Uh, I graduated 589th out of a class of 616. Almost didn't make it out of high school. My family could afford tuition for a year, so I went to Quinnipiac. My girlfriend at the time was at Southern Connecticut. Uh, I transferred to Southern in my second year and uh, stayed there throughout and finished my bachelor's degree at Southern. And we were both very focused on our studies. Uh, I, I just had to do well. I, I, I couldn't afford to repeat what I had done at high school. Plus, it was a whole different experience. Uh, here I was confronted with professors who were telling me things that I was fascinated with. And I enjoyed the experience, and so did she. So we, we didn't want to miss anything of what we could learn at Southern Connecticut, and we spent, we spent our time with our studies there. Tell me a bit about your racing career and how that uh, developed and then how you, I think you finally decided this is enough and I'll move on to, to another direction. Yeah, I started racing uh, while I was still a graduate student, which is a foolish thing to try and do because I had neither the money nor the resources with which to do it. I had no garage, but fortunately I found somebody who took care of the car. But at the same time, uh, I was the editor of two auto racing magazines and also doing television work for a variety of TV networks. So kind of a celebrity name at the time. Uh, I was working for CBS and then from CBS uh, I wound up working for uh, Fox uh, Sports covering NASCAR and uh, I did that for a long time. Uh, I had a 23, 33 year career yeah. uh, of doing NASCAR on television and uh, covered the Daytona 500. I covered some Indianapolis races, some sprint car races and some local level stock car racing as well. But uh, that was my profession for a very long time. I mean, I was in the pits of, of Dale Earnhardt yeah. when he won the Daytona 500 in 1998. That's the only da Daytona 500 he ever won. Yeah. So uh, a lot of victory lanes, uh, a lot of people that I have met. Uh, for somebody like me who's a real race fan to be standing there in, in big league auto racing with a microphone and a television camera and to be able to share what I'm seeing and experiencing with literally millions of people in their homes and to share my enthusiasm for the sport, how lucky was I? Right. I was pretty darn lucky. Right. Did you envision that back in your days at Southern as an undergrad? No. Uh, the only thing I envisioned when I was an undergrad at Southern Connecticut was that one day I would get a ride in a stock car and I would win a race. Yeah. I have had so many people along the way who have sent me in a direction, put in a good word, right. helped me out. Um, right. it's, it's just been amazing. Right.